So we're down here in Virginia at Bang Steel Shooting Course, and we're we're taking out the Savage Axis to we're gonna take it out far, a thousand yards, right? We have it was a really cold day today. You can see I'm wearing mittens, my breath. You can you can see it. It was down in the 20s. It was a it was a blizzard earlier that day that I was, you know, getting all my my dope and data for that, shooting through the through the snow. It was actually really cool because you can see what the wind is doing uh, from from your point all the way out to 1,000 yards. So that was kind of cool. Um, so we're taking the, the Savage Axis. Again, it's a $269 gun. And we it's completely stocked pretty much at this point. The trigger is still the Axis trigger, which give, did give me some trouble, but I was able to, like you'll see in this video, able to get out to 1,000, 1,100 yards. Um, the wind was very challenging. It kept shifting back and forth, and it would go pretty hard to the right and the left. So... That was one of the trickier situations, trying to get on target at a thousand yards. So I'm coming. I'm holding. I'm holding right. Yeah, we're going right about a mil, mil five. So Ready. Right there. Ready. All right. Just off the left. Did you see the yeah, impact? Yeah, I did see the impact. Just a little there. high. You will, you'll be able to see it Drop on your gun too if you get one of those lights. Yeah, that's there. It's got a bunch of these. About a mil and a half to the right. Ready. Ready. Hit. You see it? Good. Slide right on the dot. Yeah. You raise the plate. Do two mils. Send one more. Keep saying wind. Just keep two. Two mils. Ready. Ready. I don't see two mils. Yeah. Hit. That's a nice group. Send me another one. Drop it back to about a mil and a quarter. Thing. No and quarter. This, that ought to do it. This right, right? It did. Yeah. Edge in the center, but it wasn't all the way to the left edge. <laughs> Send another one. Go about a mil and a half. That was a hit up near the top hook. Send yeah. another one. Is it like you're trying to strain your head back or forward? Or I feel like I've got to figure out that. You're having to strain your head forward? Right, yeah. Cut your windage by try to, one half Try to get mil. your shoulder in the stock cutter. Did that hit? Scoot up to no, the gun. Off the right edge. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, half mil. It could be that you're too close. You might need to be further back. Half, now three quarter. We've lost some. Oh, big change out okay, there. Okay, good. Cut three quarter off of it. Back to the left. <coughs> uh, just hold uh, a little hold. bit right of center now. All right. They have fun when they cut stay with me. All right, where am I holding? You're still hitting high. About a mil and a half See right. It? Yeah. Your data is hot. You're hitting high on the other place too. Ready? Ready? Should I keep same, same elevation or bring it down a little bit? Two clicks down. Yeah. Is that gun grouping over? Ready? Yeah. Well, I mean, the ammo is mass produced. Yeah, it's good ammo. Well, yeah. Alright. Ready? Ready. Alright, so I'm holding half, half mil to the right. Ah, uh, that sounds fine, yeah. Good hit. Half mil right. Hit right to the top. You're grouping at the top of the plate where the hooks are. Yeah. Did you come down too quick. Yeah. If you want one of those breaks, we got them here. If you want to get one. I'm going to try it. This gun is quite a bit heavier than yours, but yeah. mostly it's the muzzle brake. Yeah, it's mostly the brake. All right, I'm holding half half mil. Okay. You gotta get Don on that. <sighs> yeah, I'm ready for a moment. You shot an overlapping three-shot group right there at the hook. <laughs> it's not coming down. Did you come down two clicks? Yeah. <laughs> is it clicking or is it slipping? No, it, 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 it's clicking. It might be my trigger pull. 
on this. That's pretty rough. It's a it's just a really shitty trigger. Get done on 900. Done. I'm ready. Oh, it's that axis trigger. Yeah. Yeah. It's an awful trigger. But. So after crank, cranking up and down on the elevation turret on that scope, I realized that it had gotten stuck at some point. That's why it was grouping right in the same spot, regardless of me you know, coming down two clicks each time taking those shots. So I just, just going back and forth, going up and down, dialing in that elevation turret all the way up, all the way down, kind of breaking it in just a bit more, that'll solve that issue. All right, it wasn't the trigger pull, it wasn't the gun, it wasn't me really, it was just a, just a scope. Um, and that'll happen sometimes, but shot shot great the rest of the day and then we move on to the 1100 yards <laughs> hey dan i'm gonna go for uh 1100 new spot 11 11 yeah That's where I'm at. Right, right, right. All, right. All right, ready? Yeah. Ready. So I feel like I forgot to get the meter. Like, so we can either do this. Ooh, Ooh just that? to the right, yeah. Uh, give it a mil five to the left. Hold a mill. Yeah. Mill quarter left. Mill and quarter. Yeah. Did you see that went high? Yeah. That could have. Mill left. That could have been me. It could be the trigger. I don't know. Let's see. a little bit lower. Yeah. Just like I held probably like by the head. Okay. Let's try that again. I was only I was only holding about half a mil to the left. Okay. Let's try that again. Just off to so the right. Again. Back to mill left. Just to the right. You on 200? One, two. Now give me a sec. Please, let me get a gun zero over here. Yep. Yep, go ahead. Ready on two. So I kept shooting that day, and we we got another we got another hit at 1,100 yards, but it was just challenging. It was just challenging. You could see between the 
the thousand yards wasn't too bad. Once we got to eleven hundred yards, the wind was was moving was moving around a lot more and just shifting back and forth. Which you know, if you saw me making the adjustments, readjusting, and that's what you're going to have to do. And that's where wind calls come in really important. But another thing is really important are quick follow up shots because that wind, like you saw, can shift pretty quickly. And if you have a wind call of a mill, right, that's not going to be good. If, even 15, 30 seconds later, that's not going to be the same wind call. So you, once you get that call from the from the spotter, you got to get that shot off pretty quick. Another thing that helps is having a detachable magazine where you can have you know 10 rounds in there, so you're not trying to load in between shots like I was because I have a four round magazine. And after four shots, now you're single loading. Just I'm just I was just trying to get back into it as quickly as possible and get a, a quick follow up shot. But that's the problem that you run into with a, a rifle like this but for 269 269 dollars getting out to 11, 1100 yards not bad and if if the winds have been more f in just not as crazy and unpredictable as they were then you know we, we could have gotten out much further it's 308 we could have gotten out you know they've, they've shot out to a mile with the 308 so it gets out there it's just that the winds you know were not cooperating that day but all in all fun fun day fun day and got a lot out of that out of that savage axis so I was, I was pretty impressed really we had a lot of really good groups at all bunch of different ranges and I didn't get actual footage of the targets getting hit getting shot at and that's something I have to do in the future it's just tough I'm a one-person production so you know I don't really have really advanced cameras and stuff like that I got I gotta figure that out though because that would that would be pretty cool all right Hope you guys learned some stuff from this and saw a little bit what the about what the Savage Axis can do.